Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tech and back on the video, man. Today we got the top five SMGs in the game right now. After the update on Wednesday, November first, it's November second, and we got a banger video for you guys and the amazing classes. Starting off with the PDSW, this thing got a buff recently and increased the mid-range damage, so you guys can give it a try. It was already decent; it might be a little bit better now, so that's why we got an honorable mention. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, for the rail, y'all can either take off. Take this off and use an optic or a laser, whatever you want. But we got this right now because we want the movement speed and I know the the aim down sight and visual recoil for this gun is insane. So that's why I'm rocking this. But we got negative 0.35 for the sprint speed and then plus one point. I mean, yeah, plus 1.18 for the recoil stabilization. Then we got the hollow point, of course, damage range plus 0.61 and plus 7.26 for the bullet velocity. Then we got the Bruin Q900 grip for the rear grip. Vehicle settings plus 0.68, then negative 0.23 for the sprint to fire speed. And then we got the TV. We got Rico stabilization plus 0.23 and plus 0.14 for the aim auto stability. And then for the stop, we got the FSS Heavy Stop Pro. Negative 2.97 for the aim sight speed and negative 0.15 for the aim and walking stability. This gun is very cool, smooth, and fun to use. So give it a try. It is an honorable mention, but let's get into the top five. Coming in at number five, we have the MX9. Now, the MX9 has gotten pushed back recently because there's some guns that got buffed, and this is the reason why I'm dropping this video. We got 32 round mag. If it had a little bit more mag, it'd probably be up there. But 32 round mag, very good solo gun. Give it a try. Then we got the hollow point for the ammunition. Damage range plus 0.54. Then plus 7.26 for the bullet velocity. Then moving on, we got the XRX Sandstorm for the muzzle. Negative 0.62 for the aim outside speed. And negative 0.19 for the aim auto stability. Then we have the optic. Rocking with the optic. Negative 2.71 and down sight and then plus 0.29 for close and then we got the VLK laser negative 0.44 for the speed to fire speed and plus 39.48 for the aim out of stability now this gun optic not that bad if you guys want to you can take the optic off and run a rear grip and you can go for the sprint fire speed and aim down sight speed and you guys can tune this however you want um, I'm gonna leave it default for right now but you can definitely do this for the optic you can replace that now moving on to number four we have the ISO 45. Now people don't be using this gun like that, but it's still a beast and it's still a demon. So you guys can give it a try. We had a 45 round mag, of course. Now, one thing I can say, you guys can take off the rear grip or the stock and put on hollow points, depending on who you are and what you want to do. But keep that in mind, you can definitely rock hollow point on this because I know some people like to rock that. So just pick your poison between these two. Actually, let's go ahead and get into the rear grip. The EXP, negative 0.39 for the aim out sight speed, and we left it default for the aim auto and sprint to fire speed. Because I know sometimes I'll tune in too much for the aim auto or too much for the sprint to fire speed, and it will cause it to wobble or it will cause it to aim down very, very slow. So that's why I left that stock. Then for the stock, we got negative 2.19 for the aim down sight speed and plus 0.8 for the aim auto stability. You guys can see that I made up for the aim auto stability on this one. And then we got the aim down sight speed to give us that speed because we don't have a laser. Now for the barrel, we got the 7EX, negative 0.31 for the aim walking speed and plus 0.19 for the damage range. This to give us a little bit of uh, aim walking. You know this game don't have a lot of straight speed, so I try to get a little bit for it. So that's why we did the aim walking. But if you guys want to recall something this, you can tune for that too. Moving on to the muzzle, the XRX Sandstorm. This is my favorite muzzle in the game. If y'all don't know, now you know. It is so good for these SMGs and it makes them so, like they don't have no recoil. So give it a try. Then we got plus 0.16 for the recoil control and plus 0.23 for the recoil stabilization. And if y'all know my tunes, I tune it so you guys get the best of both worlds. That's why I don't go all the way over or all the way down. Now, moving on to number three, we have the Fennec 45. Yeah, Fennec is low key back. This thing hits. But number one and number two, them SMGs is still the king of Vondel or Osmazra. We got the Fennec 45 for the mag. Um, gotta have that. We need that 45 for the mag. Then we got hollow point damage range plus 0.56 and plus 7.26 for the bullet velocity. Then we got the XRX Sandstorm again. I've been rocking this with all my SMGs. It's so nasty. Rico stabilization plus 0.70 and then plus 0.32 for the Rico control. Now for this gun, I like I said before, I don't tune them all the way, 
but this one it needs it because the finite can be wobbly as a meter freaker so go ahead and do that but right here for the laser we got negative 0.37 for the switch fire speed and negative 41.13 for the and down side speed and then last but not least we got the f tag lock tight stock negative 3.10 for the and outside speed and plus 1.94 for the aim out of stability man the finic feels good it's very nice it's just a good for like two kills now usually it was only good for one but back then it was good for three but the finic is back it is it's back so give it a try now moving on to number two we got the mp5 the mp5 is now number two it's not number one no more y'all gonna see what's number one now we got the 40 round mag of course need that um some people rock 50 you can do that if you want then we got the hollow point of course damage range plus 0 0.56 and plus 7.84 for the bullet velocity then we got the falcon barrel we go starting this plus 0 0.45 then plus 0 0.36 for the damage range vlk for the laser wait i think i no i didn't do this we got the sprint to fire speed negative 0 0.44 then plus 32.90 for the aim out of stability and we got the f tac mobile stock i don't tune this for the mp5 because it shoots so straight let me show you guys real quick and i'm like why are you not tuning it why are you not tuning it wait let me let me wait for it i just shoot so straight with it it is clean i don't need to tune it i'm pretty good with it um right here it's kind of crazy but we don't usually shoot uh mp5 from that far anyway but right here and right here we'll be for those all day long now, last but not least, we have the Bass P, man. This is number one. They buffed it, actually. I don't know why they buffed it. They buffed it with the Phoenix, and they gave it more range. It's like, what? Why would y'all do that? But anyway, it is what it is, and it's number one now. We got the 50-round mag drum. Then we got the hollow point damage range plus 0.61, then plus 7.84 for the bullet velocity. Then for the X10 drop grip, we got aim down sight speed negative 0 0.52 and plus 0 0.32 for the aim out of stability. Now you guys can take off the under barrel and throw on a laser if you want a little bit more speed or the stop. Laser or under barrel, you can pick your poison between under barrel, laser, and the stop. Either way it go, it's still disgusting. Just pick what you want. Then we got the f tac Castle Comp. Recoil stabilization plus 0 0.67, then plus 0 0.28 for the recoil control. And then we got the Bruin Flash V Stock. And we got negative 2.06 for the aim out of speed and plus 1.32 for the aim out of stability, man. Y'all give this a try. Let me know how you rock with it. These are the top five SMGs in the game. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to your boy Tess Cashin. And I'll see y'all in the next one, man. And also, my number three campaign out. Let me know if y'all completing it. Let me know if y'all rocking for that game. And are y'all ready for MW3? Because it's around the corner, man. But anyway, I'm done talking. See y'all in the next one, man.